Welcome back. We are on day six here at Funland. We have our intro from Tom Nook, so let's see what he has to say. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 11.45 this happy Tuesday, November 24th. I can't say I have much in the way of news to report to you today. Ah, one item I should share. Today I became keenly aware of how deep we are into fall when a maple leaf fluttered by me as I was walking. I hope all of you get to enjoy hunting the leaves during the brief time they are around. Ah. Oh, it looks like he's going to give us something. I've sent a recipe to the DIY recipes app. It's for a red leaf pile and it's a great way to make fall memories. Well, thanks, Tom Nook. Now we can make a pile of leaves. And with that being said, we are starting, like I said, day six. And the first thing on our agenda is to get one piece of iron that we need left to give to Timmy because we are that close to getting our shop done. So number one on the list, check our mail. Luna. I am certain many memories of your island are dear to you. What if you could share those memories in the form of a pleasant dream? You can, and it's as easy as falling asleep in your bed. Sleep well, Luna. Thanks, Luna. Happy Home Academy. Congratulations. To celebrate the new addition to your home, please accept this small gift. You'll need convenient electronic appliances for your upgraded home from the Happy Home Academy. Thank you so much. Let's see what we got. We have Luna's bed and an ironing set. Well, it'll be nice to have a bed instead of a cot, so let's switch that up. And I do know from watching other videos that Luna's bed is used for visiting Dream Islands, so that's exciting, something new that I can start doing. Perfect, Luna's bed. Not the best placement, but again, I have one room in my house, so once we get more rooms and I get more stuff and I get more DIYs, that's when I think I'll start really caring about the placement and what I'm doing. Right now, it's just a matter of putting stuff away and getting stuff in. And we got more Nook Miles. Dream house, we're just on the second rung of that. A thousand more nook miles. We're up to nine thousand. That's good. We're gonna need them soon. All right, let's head out, get that piece of iron, see if we can find any of my villagers, see what they're up to. I'm gonna drop. I see that there are other fossils on the ground. I have a couple that I'm gonna drop here. I will have them assessed by Blathers at some point. Right now, I'm focused on getting stuff built, getting more villagers. All right, so. I don't even have an ax. Do I have rocks? Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and make ourselves an ax. Can't get our iron if I don't have an ax. Let's craft. Done. I made a flimsy axe. I'm done for now. Let's go get that piece of iron and get that stuff into resident services, get our shop started. I want a big shop. I want to be able to get stuff. Okay. Rock, rock. Iron, we got it. We are set. Extra iron, we're gonna need that for DIYing. Awesome, I am so excited. We have enough iron. Let's go and give that to Timmy. I see a little bug popped out. I wonder if I can get it. Oh, I'm terrible with the net, I'm telling you. Got it. I caught a pill bug. That's a tough act to swallow, which means I've got one before, so I can always sell it if need be. 
let's go give this iron and get this shop built. Oh, well, hello there, Poppy. Your home is much roomier, yes? It's nice to have even a little extra space, which brings us to... Yeah, he's going to want money. The cost of your remodel, that'll be 198,000 bells. Yes, please make your payments using the next stop's ABD feature as you've done before. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Okay, you can have your money when I make money. So about building that shop, Timmy, where right now we're asking residents for their help in donating the materials we need to build a shop. I'd like to donate. Oh, you'll make a donation? Thank you so much for helping us. We already received some donations, so we need 30 iron nuggets. Can you handle that? These are for you. Can I handle that? Of course we can handle that. Oh my goodness, this means we have everything we need to get started on our shop. And because you helped gather what we need to start construction on the shop, we want you to have the honor. What is the honor, you ask? We'd like you, a key figure in making this happen, to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. Okay. Place that shop construction kit wherever you like and we'll get started on construction. I'm so excited to see the location you pick for us. Okay. So we'll go pick a spot for our shop. Again, I don't have full... <clears throat> I shouldn't say I don't have full access. I have pretty good access to the island. I have my vaulting pool now. I don't have any other way to get around. I just feel bad if I put it somewhere where... My other villagers can't get to it at the moment. I do know that eventually we can move stuff, so I guess I can keep that in mind. But I'm thinking a good spot for the shop. Would be... I don't know, In an, this is a good spot. It's nice and open. I mean, it, it can always be temporary, we can always move it, but <clears throat> yeah, this, this looks like it. This is where the shop will go. I bet the island is about to become a whole lot livelier. I agree. All right, we've picked a spot. It's accessible to me, not so much the rest of my residents, but I'm sure at some point it will be. And again, I can always move it, so that's something. Now let's go see Tom Nook and see what he has in store for us. Ah, Poppy, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. I should thank you for gathering all those materials for the shop. You're quite resourceful. Maybe I should be asking you for advice on how to build up this island. That doesn't even make sense and help me in any way. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Okay. So, basically, Tom Nook is not helping me in any way. I guess at this point, we should maybe talk to Tommy, see what he has to say. Oh, Poppy, it's good to see you. How are you enjoying island life? I was hoping to talk to you about the new shop. You did so much for us from finding materials to setting the location. We couldn't have done it without you. You can count on us to create a shop that all of the island residents will thoroughly enjoy. That's great, and not the least bit helpful. Oh, my money tree grew, that's helpful. That's something. There we go. Extra money is always helpful. I haven't seen any of my residents today. It looks like Flo is home, so let's head over to Flo, see what she has to say. Here she is. She's so cute. Hey, you showed up. I want to chat. Oh, that reminds me. I heard you were helping us build a shop. That's right. Ha, huh, knew it. Well, thanks for doing your part for Funland. Oh, I got an idea. 
<laughs> if they've got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. I figure you're probably going to need that more than me. Give it a swing. Give it a swing. What did she give? Oh, she gave me another axe. Oh, a stone axe. That's better than my flimsy axe. Well, thank you, Flo. I mean, the shop's already being built, but I appreciate it. Let's go and see what Moose is up to in his little house. Now, uh, yesterday I went to Mystery Island and we got Apple and she said that she's going to be moving in and I couldn't be more excited because Apple is one of the cutest characters, I think, anyway. Now, I just don't know where she's going to live because we don't have any houses and Tom Nook hasn't really given me any indication on how that's going to happen, so not exactly sure when she's coming. Poppy, how'd the award ceremony go? Did you win Best Pudding? Oh, I thought that you... What a weird dream, Shorty. Okay, well, it was good talking to you, Moose. All right, so I guess at this point, it's a lot more foraging, grabbing, selling, getting. Now that I have a lot more storage, I can pick up stuff off the island and put it in my house so I don't leave such a mess everywhere. Not that that's a big, big deal. But I can gather and clean up things. Let's pick some mushrooms. I see them everywhere. It's part of tidying up the island. I would like to start cleaning up some of these trees. Oh, I got Nook Miles. I got Nook Miles for picking mushrooms. That's awesome. Okay, some of our other tasks, plant seeds, plant fruit trees, cut wood, catch fish. I can do all of these things. I do want to quickly throw some of my stuff in storage that I'm not going to need right this second because my storage is very limited, like on my personal carry-on stuff. And there's a lot of stuff I'd like to get, so let's go ahead and put our iron in storage. Clay in storage, stones in storage. I can sell mushrooms, I don't really need them, I don't think. What else do I have? My camping cot can go in storage. I'm gonna keep both my axes on me because I know my flimsy axe is gonna go at any point. All right, with that being said, Let's go chop some wood. Our flimsy axe, get some more nook miles. And we can always use wood. I have lots of fossils and stuff that need to be dug up as well and brought to the museum that, that I can do at a later date. Nobody needs to see blathers talking that long. More nook miles for chopping wood. Done. Hit rocks, catch fish. Well, there's a rock right here, so we might as well hit it. Oh, a money rock. I need money. I need to sell as much stuff as I can because I have a huge home loan to pay off. Perfect. That helps more neck miles again for hitting rocks. And I want to get as many Nook Miles as possible because I'm pretty sure after the store comes is when we start looking into getting more residents. So that is something to look forward to. I'm going to use my vaulting pole and move to the other side of the island for some fishing. See what we can get. Basically, if it's not a new species, we're just going to... Fish and sell, fish and sell, fish and sell. And we got one. And I caught a neon tetra. I'm pretty sure I've already donated that. But that's okay, it's money. Oh, here's another one. And Zebra turkey fish, I know I've donated that. Mm, 
nothing out this way. And he did say that, uh, Blathers did say that we could deep sea dive as well for donations. However, donating, it, it's, that's something that can be done over time, like over a long period of time, I'm thinking. So I'm in no huge rush to do that. Fish is always going to be there. Sea creatures are always going to be there. Yes, a new one. I caught a seahorse, but where's its sea jockey? So seahorse will get set out by the museum for me to bring in at some point. And... Oh. Got him. A horse mackerel? I know I've donated. Oh, there's a huge butterfly. I don't know if I've got one of those before. I can't remember. I know I caught a monarch. Yes, I didn't think I had one of these. I caught a paper kite butterfly. Do I read it, fly it, or spread it on toast? Okay, awesome. So that's two things to put out in front of the museum. I have three more slots, so... Let's fill that up, drop what we need at the museum, sell the rest to Timmy, and keep going. Another horse mackerel. And our nook miles. Or catching fish. Catch a sea bass to get extra 200. We also get miles for deep sea diving, so I'm gonna do that as well, but I'm going to offload my stuff first and empty my pockets, because if I'm gonna go out diving, I might as well dive and fill up my pockets. Wait, how much space? Oh, I have two more slots left. Might as well catch two more fish, if I can, while I'm on my way back to the museum. Maybe one of them will be a sea bass, extra points. This is a big one, so... Yes! Caught a sea bass. That is extra nook miles. 200 more. We're up to 10,000 nook miles. That's awesome because we're going to need them very, very shortly. I think that's going to be... Well, I love everything about the game. I do. I think it's so much fun. But I, I really like the traveling to that mystery island and I've watched countless other videos with people going and finding characters and it just seems like it's so much fun. We got our message bottle today. I was messing around at the old tool bench and I came up with this DIY idea that you're holding right now. My great idea is in this bottle here. Take a chance on it. You'll see. Try it out. You won't be sorry. Off you go. Groucho. Kettle bathtub. Okay, now we have a bathtub DIY. We don't have a bathroom, but we have a kettle bathtub. Although I think that's... Here, let's take a look. I think that's one that you put outside. Yes. Yes, it is. And you need, wow, eight iron nuggets, wood, and a campfire. We are getting way more DIYs, so that's good. We're progressing there. We'll be able to decorate at some point. Hi, Camel. I'd like to buy stuff from him, but I quite literally have no money. Mushrooms. Might as well fill up that slot and sell it. Let's head to re or resident services really quick. Empty my pockets out after I drop my couple donations here by Blathers. What did I have to donate? The seahorse. Place item. And we had the paper kite butterfly. Place item. Perfect. Let's head over here to see Timmy quick, empty out the rest of my pockets, and then we will go do some deep sea diving. Let's see what we can get. Timmy, Poppy, you put up the shop construction kit. We've got our work cut out for us. If we're going to open by tomorrow, but I can't wait. How can I help you? I want to sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Well, 
You can have this fish and this fish and some sticks and fish and mushrooms and fish and bugs and mushrooms and bugs and that should do it. Done. I can buy these from you for a total of 33.75 bells. Sound good? Absolutely. So paying off my home loan, I'm just gonna put this in the bank, is going to take a lot longer than it did the first time. Only because the first time was 98,000. That took me countless hours when I wasn't recording. Now I have to pay off 198,000. That is just craziness. And I have a total in my bank of 33,000 bells. So might as well stick that. Let's just pay as much as I can. I now have zero bells in savings, but we will make more. Let's sign off. I wish I knew what I could sell that was worth the most. Um, so far I've noticed, even with fish, that the bigger fish, like sea bass, are not as worth as much as some of the smaller fish, so just because it's bigger doesn't mean it's worth more. I guess lesson learned. I just wish I knew what was worth a lot. I just don't yet. But I guess we'll find out with sea creatures because that's what I'm after. Let's go diving, see what we can get. I'm not seeing any bubbles yet. It's not looking like, oh, here we go. Here is something. And what do we got? We got, yes, a gazami crab. What a gripping find. Oh, he's cute with his little flippers. And there are more, oops, didn't mean to dive. Uh, there's more bubbles all around us. All right, and we have, I got a scallop. It ought to be savored, which means Pascal is here again to take our scallop. Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Sure, here you go. Wow, thanks for your generosity, man. He's so cute. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. Six is afraid of seven because seven, eight, nine. But man, it was the setup. The real culprit, negative seven. <laughs> Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer, right? <laughs> yep, today is a good day. All right, so Pascal took our scallop, left us with something. Let's see what it is he left us. A pearl. Okay, I know pearls are worth quite a lot. And since I'm not really DIYing much right now, which I know they are used for, I think I'm just going to sell, 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 and then collect stuff I need later. Because right now the money aspect is way more important. All right, got a big one and we got a sea cucumber. I know I've already donated that, so. Oh, we got Nook Miles again, but I see more bubbles. Let's head in that direction. Oh, this one's fast, this one's fast. Okay, got it. Oh, it's another crab. He's so cute. They're, seriously, they're cute. I might want to set one up in my house, like in one of those fish tanks, like outside of Blathers, because I think it's adorable. And another one. And we got an oyster. It's a little shellfish. How much space do I have? Oh, I have tons of space still. And I see more bubbles. Yes. I 
got a turban shell. It's totally tubular. It absolutely is, and hopefully worth a lot of money because I need it. I'm really excited for, and I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but for when we start terraforming and turning this into an actual little city, I think that is going to be so much fun. I watch other people's videos and tutorials and it's just the amount of stuff you can do with this game is absolutely incredible. And it just, it seems, it's a little overwhelming right now because, I mean, my day is filled with chopping wood and diving for things and fishing and trying to make bits of money. And then you see all these other people with actual metropolises for islands. But I am excited. A little nervous, but I'm excited. And I'm going to get there eventually. Like I said, I'm focusing right now on getting money, getting the shop built. We already have the museum. I think once the shop's done, that's when we start getting islanders. And once we get more islanders, I think that's when things really start springing up. All right, how much space do we have? Three more spots, so three more dives, and a quick trip to resident services, and then back to it. Dive, dive, dive. I need to look up how many creatures there are because I don't know exactly what I'm looking for or how many I'm looking for. Right now it's just I'm kind of doing everything blind. I'm just going for it. Whatever there's there. I don't know if I need specific stuff or how many things there are. Another sea cucumber. It's a bit cumbersome. Need one more, so I'm going to start heading towards the beach. Hopefully I'll just come across some bubbles like that on our way. Oh, there's lots of bubbles. And we have another sea cucumber. That's fine, money's money. Let's head back to the beach. I don't even know, whoa. Apparently I'm at the back of my island. Oh, there's bugs on the rock. I wonder if I can catch those. Probably. I mean, if it's wildlife, you can catch it, right? More butterflies. Oh, Nick Miles. Grab those. There we go. More picking mushroom miles. I like those. Easy miles are my favorite. I'm going to need my vaulting pole here. Hold. Let's head over so we can make some money. Quick trip in. Hello, puppy. How can I help you today? I want to sell. Of course. What exactly are you offering? The same spiel every single time. And we are giving him everything because, again, I need money. Look at all the fine things he brought in and done. I can buy these from you for 21,000 bells. Okay. So I'm guessing most of that was the pearl, but it seems like the underwater creatures are worth a little bit more than the fish. Or at least the types of fish that I'm catching. And it's easy. I like easy. Easy money and easy points. I'll put away my vaulting pole. And dive in for round two. Fill up my pockets one more time. Okay. 
and dive. And we have an acorn barnacle. I've got that before. Oh, these are, that's a lot, oh, a lot of bubbles. Okay, I've seen this before. They are super fast, so obviously it's a, bigger than what I've caught before, so we're gonna kinda sneak up on it and dive. Haha. <laughs> and we got, oh wow, yes! A snow crab, it's giving me the cold shoulder. Nice. Okay, so big bubbles, bigger sea creatures, smaller bubbles, smaller sea creatures. We've got a sea slug. It's kind of salty about that. And back swimming. And dive. More acorn barnacles. I feel like barnacles probably aren't worth a lot of money. I feel like they're more of a nuisance item. But again, I'm not being picky. I'll take it. Money is money. And really, as far as today goes, that's all I'm doing is just collecting species, getting money. I already gave everything for the store, and that was the main thing. And... Tom Nook gave us no other, oops, I missed that one completely. Tom Nook is giving us no insight on what else to do today. So I'm guessing until that store's built, nothing overly exciting is going to happen. I got a sea star, maybe it'll give me an autograph. So this, this is our day. We are just going to continue getting money and Nook Miles, money and Nook Miles, money and Nook Miles, because what else is there to do on a deserted island with literally nothing? Oh, this one's quick. This one's really quick. Okay. Sneaky. Try that again. Wow, this one is super, super fast. Dive. I saw one beside it, so we'll grab it. Then I'm coming after that guy because I'm not letting him get away. I got a whelk. Happy snails to ya. Yeah, you think you got away, buddy. Not happening. And dive. So fa- Oh my gosh. Come on. Aha. Finally. And we got- Oh, he's so cute. I got an umbrella octopus. Too bad I'm already soaked. Okay, I thought the crab was cute. That little guy is freaking adorable. He is cute. That's probably gonna sell him, but if I find another one, he's probably gonna make his way to living in my house because that's too cute. More bubbles. Oh, don't be a fast one again. Okay, good. Yes! I got a pearl oyster. Ah, shucks. Don't clam up now. Okay, so there's different kinds of oysters. There's regular oysters and pearl oysters. Now, do pearl oysters, like, do you physically get the pearls from them, or do you just have to find the pearl as is, or just get it from Pascal? I'm kind of confused on that. Another sea star. And we got more Nook Miles. For what? For deep dive. 50 out of 50. Oh, our next, next tier is 250 dives. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of work. That's okay, I think swimming is probably one of my favorite things so far.
and we got another whelk. How much space do I have left? Two more slots. This looks like the back of our island. Yep, definitely the back of the island. Yeah, there's supposed to be a secret beach around here somewhere. I have not found mine yet. Maybe I have and I just haven't seen it or paid attention, but I'm hoping to find it. Here's a big one, and we got, oh, another crab. He's so cute, too cute. One more spot, if we go further around the back of my island. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm literally just talking about Secret Beach. Boom, found it. And we got another sea cucumber. But we did find the secret beach, so that's exciting. Cute. Not much going on there, but nice to know where it is. Back in the water just to get around. Swimmy, swimmy, swimmy. There we go. Picking it up a little bit. It's the thing. Pretty slow going. And we're back. And I need my vaulting pool again. I'm telling you, when I can get bridges built, so much easier. And let's go and sell what we have to Timmy and Tommy. Same spiel as before, how can I help you out? Obviously I'm selling my offering oh I probably shouldn't offer the snow crab it's probably worth a lot but I do know that blathers needs it so 16,000 more bells sold we are slowly whittling away our debt and I think I will leave today's video at that we have given our iron so the store will be up and running tomorrow so that's exciting we have our museum up and running i'm going to donate a few things to blathers while i'm off i'm going to continue fishing and diving and shopping and collecting money and nook miles because that's really all i can do for the time being and I will be back tomorrow. We will have a new store built and hopefully Tom Nook will have some new direction for us and we can head from there. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow.